What if the next big iPhone change isn't a new chip, but no notch at all? Leaks say iPhone 18 Pro is targeting under-display Face ID, pushing sensors beneath the screen and shrinking the cutout. Translation, more usable display, cleaner status bar, and a step toward a truly edge-to-edge -edge iPhone. How it might work, a special transmissive window in the OLED lets the IR system see through, while software cleans up any optical noise. Expect a small punch hole for the selfie camera at first. Going fully under panel for the camera usually comes later. Upsides you'll notice, more room for video, timelines, games, and pro tools without the island in the way. The engineering hurdles, keeping brightness and color uniform, avoiding a faint patch over the sensor zone, and preserving face YD speed. Selfie camera trade-offs. Under panel lenses can struggle with sharpness, flare, and night selfies. Apple will need heavy processing to keep quality high. Who should be excited? Creators who hate framing around a notch, gamers, and anyone who lives in full screen apps. What I'll test day one. Face ID reliability at weird angles, outdoor brightness uniformity, selfie quality in low light, and PWM flicker near the sensor area. Upgrade math. If you're on an iPhone 14 15 and care about full screen immersion, this could be the year to jump. If camera stability matters most, wait for real world tests. Question for you. Would under display face ID make you upgrade or do you need a bigger camera or battery leap first? Drop your take below, like the video, and subscribe to Jonathan's vlog, full lab tests, and side-by-sides as soon as units hit the desk.